How to make an animation Welcome to Coco's 2D Tutorials Brought to you by Bob Eulen For more information go to bobeulen.com slash Coco's 2D In this tutorial we will make an animation with a bird flapping its wings. We will start with two files, an image atlas and the corresponding property list. With these two files we will create a cache object and then from that a frames array and from that an animation object which we will turn into an animation action. Together with the sprite we will apply the action to the sprite giving us the desired animation. We are inside Xcode and in our resources we have two files, an image file containing nine frames and the corresponding property list. We will not discuss how to create these two files that is done in another tutorial. Observe that our property list contains nine frames. Each frame has a name, for instance bird1.png. Let's go to our hello world layer. And as we said, we need to create five objects. A cache object, a frame array object, an uh, animation object, an animation action, and the sprite. These four objects are created from the cache object. So Let's start by creating this object. The cache object will be created from these two files. Now the cache object, what kind of object is it? Well, it is an object that contains the spray sprite frames. Let's go to the documentation. And here is sprite frame cache. We can use this method to create our cache object. So CC sprite frame cache. Let's call it something for instance cache and create it by sending shared sprite frame cache message. This creates an empty cache object. We have to fill it with something and we do that by sending a message to it. And the message we could use this one add sprite frames with file, adds multiple sprite frames from a plist file. A texture will be loaded automatically. The texture name will be composed by replacing the plist suffix with a .png suffix. So that is why these two files have to have the same name. Add sprite frames with file and then we have to specify the name of the plist bird atlas dot plist now we have our cache object we can create a frame array now somehow we need to extract the individual frames from this cache object. 
if we go back to the documentation of the cache we see a method which actually extracts the individual sprite frames it is called sprite frame by name we will use this method but first let's create an empty array and as mutable array let's call it something frames array perhaps and we create it and as mutable array array there now we need to fill this with something and let's take a for loop we have nine frames and we had to take our frames array add objects to it and let's call it something like frame object that we want to add and how do we produce this frame object well frame object we produce it by extracting it from the cache cache and we used this method as we said sprite frame by name and the name has to be something like bird3.png but of course this number has to vary for each loop first we should have a bird1.png and then bird2.png and so on so to solve that let's introduce an ns string a temporary ns string call it something frame name and a string string with format bird percentage d which will be our index dot png and then the index i and this will be the desired frame name which we can put here now we have our frame array and we can create the animation object let's call it something for instance anim object we create it by sending a message to cc animation and what is the message let's go and look at cc animation and we can use animation with frames delay we have to specify as parameter a frame array which we have and delay between the frames so animation with frames frames array and we can take 0 0.1 seconds between the frames we have our animation object let's create the animation action we can call it for instance animation action and we create it by sending a message to CC animate CC 
CC animate. We can use this action with animation, restore original frame. The parameter is an animation which we have, and we do not want to de restore original frame, so we say no is this parameter action with animation our animation is anim object and no to restore original frame like this now we have nine frames and 0.1 between them that's 0 0.9 seconds that will go rather fast so let's extend this with anim action equals cc repeat forever action with action and we take our original action so this will just repeat the action forever and now let's create our sprite in usual manner cc sprite call it something for instance bird cc sprite sprite with sprite frame name this time and we can take one of the frames for instance bird1.png let's give it a position like that and let's add it to the layer okay and now we can run action on our bird and it was called anim action okay let's see if this works And as you can see, it works. Thank you for watching.